Hello, how are you? Welcome to our new AOZ Studio game tutorial. Today I'll show you how to easily create an endless runner game in AOZ with moving backgrounds, enemies, power-ups and player scores that will be saved. And I bet you will be surprised how quickly you will program it. First let's display the background. See how it's scrolling nicely? Let's see how it works. First I'm defining the actor and naming it Forest. Every actor needs a unique name. Next I'm selecting which image it should use. Here the image name is also Forest. Then I define its starting and ending positions on the X axis as well as the duration that it takes for the image to move from start X to end X. The duration equals 2000 milliseconds meaning the scrolling of that image will take 20 seconds. By default the Y position is zero. Finally, with loop move set to true, the image will move continuously in a loop. OK, so now let's do the same for the ground that the player will move on. Here's the additional code. Let's have a look at how it works. Nice parallax! I have different duration set for the second background so it moves faster. So now with the background working, let's add our main heroine. Here's the code. You probably have already watched our other tutorials with non-animated actors in AOZ. Here we are going to learn how to animate our characters. First I will add our heroine, Lucy. I name her animation Run. You just have to give the sequence of images to animate her. Here I set Lucy 0, Lucy 1, etc. And since I want the animation to loop, I add the letter L at the end to tell AOZ I want to loop my sequence indefinitely. You can also set the timing and other parameters of the animation like reverse, etc. You can find yourself info on all of these parameters under the animation chapter in the AOZ Studio documentation accessible through AOZ Studio. Now that the animation is set, let's assign it to the Lucy actor. I create a new actor and name it Lucy. After that I'm setting the coordinates to position the actor on screen. Then I am setting its default animation using anim dollar sign parameter with the run animation I have defined. I also add behavior dollar sign parameter. In AOZ there are many behavior presets you can use, but for this game I only want my character to jump to avoid enemies, so I only add this preset. By default my character will jump on mouse button press or on touch on mobile. So let's check our actor in action. Works perfectly, nice jumping! Ok, great! But every great game needs some tough bad guys to challenge our magical heroine. In order to do that I will reproduce the animation code I did for our heroine Lucy. First I'll define actors animations and then the actors themselves. I will call them Monster 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Let's zoom in to have a closer look at their code. I already talked about most of the code you can see here, so let's focus on the group dollar parameter. By grouping all monster actors in a single group, I can manage all of them just by using group dollar parameter later in the code. Let's see what I have now. Alright, creepy monsters roam everywhere. I also want a collectible power up that the player can collect to give them a nice bonus for their commitment. The same principle as with Lucy and the monsters. There's the star! But when they collide with our heroine something should happen and I also need a scoring system that will reward the player with points for the time that our heroine stays alive. For this I have created a main game loop using compound instruction do loop. Inside it I first define the variable score and increase it by one every loop. Next I check for collisions using the compound instruction if then and the instruction actor col meaning if actor collides, here I define who collides with what. This code is for Lucy colliding with the star. If true, meaning when Lucy touches the star, I want to reward the player with 100 points, so I add 100 to the score variable. Then I'm updating the progress bar with UI progress and giving it the name bar. Set its position and size and give it a variable value which will fill it up with the score divided by 20. 
I divide it by a number in order to slow the speed at which the bar will be filled up. Next, I code Lucy's collision check with the group bad guys. With groups, things are tidy and quick to program. And again, if this collision is true, I could do several things, but now I want to display the game over screen. With go to instruction, I jump to part of the code label ID game over to manage the end of the game. Here I'm refreshing the screen to update it. Then loop indicates the end of the main loop which I started with do. And let's see how it's working. Great, now let's finish it off by setting up the game's ending. The label game over is a part of the code where I jump to with the go to instruction. It's one of several ways I can do it. For example, with using procedures for game over graphics. Inside it, first I'm removing all of the actors. Next I create a new actor for game over text graphics. Then I prompt the player to input their name with the input instruction. What is typed by the user will be saved inside the name dollar variable. Note that the dollar sign at the end of the variable means that I can only store a string of characters in it, therefore it is only used to store text. The instructions dbwrite and dbread are used to save and load data from what is called a SQL database. Usually that's a very complex process where you have to install a server and do a lot of programming, but AOZ takes care of all of it, so all you have to do is just focus on what's important. And if you would like to learn more about the specifics of databases in AOZ Studio, I have already created an in-depth tutorial on it, which you can find on our YouTube channel. So long story short, you only need to use dbwrite instructions followed by the data you want to save in the database, and dbread instructions to load data from the database. Then with the print instruction, the program will print a message with the player's score. The wait input pauses the program until it receives any input from the player, a key press on a keyboard or a mouse key. Then I delete the game over actor, because when I go back to the start label with the go to start instruction to restart the program, I don't want the image to still be visible on the screen. So let's check how our game works now. This is amazing. Not only did we make a cool little game in no time, but we also learned about many things that you can easily do in AOZ. AOZ Studio is available to download for free from the www.aoz.studio website. The AOZ team has already created a lot of in-depth tutorials for AOZ Studio which you can find on our YouTube page, and I will be releasing more, so please like and subscribe and hit the bell button to stay up to date. Goodbye for now, and see you soon, Code Magicians!